Well, hello. It's, uh, I do believe it's Tuesday, the 16th of June. And, uh, uh, just, it's just been a quick one today. We're getting a bit stressed out with, uh, life, the universe and everything, of course. So I quickly came out and, uh, my little field that I stop at, or the church yard, uh, the car park, they've got sheep across the way. I, I put a photograph at the end of this so you can see the sheepses, or as my Sarah likes to call them, baby, baby lambs. Well, I think they're slightly bigger than lambs now. Uh, anyway, so I, I have, do have some good news. I have finally been uh, uh, received my medal that I was promised by uh, the uh, Alzheimer's Society. Uh, that was a charity that I was fundraising for. Uh, I, I wasn't really expecting a medal. I didn't. I didn't do it for the medal, but uh, I am quite pleased that they've uh, that they've sent me a medal. Uh, and I couldn't have well, I, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Uh, if you if you're fundraising or your donations hadn't um, uh, come through, then I wouldn't have, wouldn't have got my, uh, my medal. I don't know if there's any wind noise. There's a little bit of breeze here. Um, yeah, so, so uh, thanks for donating, guys. Uh, I do appreciate every penny that you, you gave me, and I hope, um, hope it's worth it. Yeah, uh, this is old man. She's uh, she's hurt a leg. Went running towards the patient who'd fell over, and she pulled a muscle in her leg trying to get to this patient quick enough. Uh, anyway, so she's off sick, and of course she don't get sick pay. Yeah, never mind. We'll soldier on. I'm sure something will turn up for. Uh, I think Sarah's looking for another job, and uh, I'm certainly looking for a job. Yeah, it's worrying times, isn't it, at the moment? What with everything that's going on in America, where a man was killed by a cop, and now it's come over here, where they are protesting bad cops and corrupt workings within our political and uh, social environments. There's been a lot of this talk about taking a knee. Well, I won't be taking a knee. I've got nothing to be ashamed of. I treat everyone equally and so should everybody else. No giving someone a, a leg up because they might have had it bad in the past. Just treat everybody equally. I'm pretty certain that the working class on this planet have never had a leg up. And I know my social circles we're all working class. None of us have had any leg up to get where we are. It's been hard work. Yes. Now I started working when I was 14. Paper round. And then as soon as I left school, I got a part-time job until college started. And then I started sixth form college and then went on to a technical college where I got my professional qualifications. It was hard work. During the summer holidays it's from college I was working two jobs just, just so I could pay for the next term. And I was working evenings and weekends and come Monday morning I was shattered. Yeah. 
anyway this year's been a complete washout hasn't it we're now in the middle of middle of the year it's almost the longest day and uh what have we done we've done nothing we had march april may now into june where we were all housebound not very funny none of us can go on holiday none of us can really do much i've got a visitor i'll oh, stop ah yeah yeah this uh the last six six months have been a quite a washout really we still can't travel anywhere we're still restricted on that unnecessary travel i don't think that's been lifted yet and if you can work at home work at home yeah i don't know i don't know what's going on they're ending they're ending this lock in my opinion which uh doesn't mean to say it's the right opinion but my opinion is they ended lockdown too quick until parliament reopens and the politicians can assemble in parliament then i don't think schools should be open i think the politicians should be the first one to bite the bullet when it goes back to uh, assembling in small rooms with lots of people yeah let the politicians go back to work first and then we can send our kids to school and i'm pretty certain that most of us out there will have spent some time educating our kids my kids all grown up now so but yeah you should have set your kids down for at least an hour a day teaching them something basic maths percentages how to work out stuff on the computer English has made them read a book for an hour a day but but of course the politicians will blame the parents for not teaching the children but that's life isn't it anyway I've rambled on I'm going to put a picture of my medal at the end of this little rant and uh, I take I've taken some pictures of the sheep over there there's a jackdaw behind me I think it's a jackdaw anyway that's enough for me moaning and groaning I don't know I think I'm gonna go straight home because I'm it's um it's not particularly warm today there's a slight chill in the air I think once once this cloud cover goes, I don't know when that's going to burn off. But as soon as the cloud cover burns off, um, it's going to be really hot. I think uh, I sat out in the sun yesterday afternoon for a half an hour when the sun actually came out, and it was boiling hot. So yeah, I think we might be in for a warmer warmer summer if we ever. We had a really good spring, but it's, summer seems to have disappeared now. Anyway. I'll catch you all later. See you, bye. Bye, people.